Thank you for joining me. So I helped level set a little bit about what this panel was, but I'd love for them to hear it from you. So Mark, I'd love to hear your definition of tech for good and how we can expedite sustainable procurement. From the procurement side is the multiple lenses that we're going to our suppliers with. We're looking scope three, we're going to be talking about diversity, we're talking human rights. We have to understand that for the suppliers about the changing agenda that we're going to them all the time, as well as getting the right solutions in there to drive tech for good and action. We need to make sure that we're not creating a very complex UX for our suppliers as we take the next agenda to them. I think the other part is there is sometimes a focus on dashboards and data. And I say this quite a lot, every five weeks represents 1% of the decade. So we need to take that data and move it into action. It's internally with our stakeholders, with our suppliers, to actually look at the value chain and how we transform it as well. I think the other thing for procurement organizations is looking at some of the leading indicators of change and transformation. If we look at scope, it's those active collaborations you have around those categories, which are the leading indicators for change. Otherwise, 2030 seems a long way away. We need to take the action, working with our suppliers, because that's how we remove it. But again, as we look at the other lenses, how do we turn this into action in the business? Hearing about what it is and what it isn't and transformation. Being here at the conference, I hear quite a bit about an ESG journey for organizations. I hear about the procurement journey, and I really feel like on day two, as we're talking about tech for good, it's about the impact outside the organization. Mark, I'm gonna to come to you here. You know, what's the best practice or what's something you're seeing you'd like to share with the audience? I think the framing of these programs to suppliers is really important. The governance around the collaborations you have uh, some of the biggest challenges if you can bring the suppliers in to do the change and maybe the innovation around the business with new technologies or processes is also making sure your internal teams are accountable as well. And sometimes internal cross-functional teams aren't always the most accountable in the organization. So if we're looking for this change to come in and your suppliers to put the R&D and really invest in the future with you, it's about how you get that governance in there. And that gives the senior executives the understanding of what's going on in those large programs and the different projects in there. The second part, and I'm sure my procurement colleagues will align with me on this, also we have to look at the commercial element. Can tell them to remove all the carbon, we can talk about the human rights and so forth. But we also have to understand the commercial part of this as well. So I think we're talking about sustainable business growth. We still want to innovate with our suppliers for new products and services in a sustainable way. And if we remove the large contracts and the things that we're doing with our suppliers today and just purely take it from a sustainability side, it's a bit Jekyll and Hyde with the suppliers. So we need to have the commercial elements to the conversation as well as the ESG agenda that we're taking to them. Otherwise, it's very hard to incentivize them when you're, you're beating them up over here and then asking them to do more over there as well. If I didn't know you better, I'd think you're trying to sweet talk me by talking governance. I came into ESG from the governance side, so it's great to hear. And I do believe that in the decade of our lives, we are, this is about governance, making sure aspirations turn to operations. My, my next question is rooted in that. And I think, Mark, I'm going to come back to you about, you were talking about action in your opening comments and level setting. And I would be curious to know, after being here, seeing what's happening in this space, what is the one thing that you will do or you believe needs to be done to make sure Tech for Good is helping, to us, helping us accelerate sustainable procurement? I think it's all about action. How is the tech you're looking at going to drive into action in your organization? For me, something you could take away from today is look at your business around the scope three, find one of those categories where it's really important to the business with low decarbonized availability and start speaking to that group of suppliers and look at the collaborations you can start building tomorrow. So it's about the action that you can drive off the back of it. If you're doing stuff purely to, to monitor dashboards, great. The dashboard probably won't change unless you and the business is doing something with them. What's fascinating to me is I've been in organizations where the dashboards were thought to be the action, but it's so much more than that. So I appreciate Yeah, you need context, but yes. if you just wait for the perfect dashboard of your scope three and do nothing, 2030 is not far away. And with the new near-term science-based targets, with near-term and long-term, you have to bring your scope three in there, which people could define without scope three in the past, and they want to know the strategy of how you're removing it. And then also, how do we work together? Some of these topic areas are emerging. Human rights is something we're all going to have to look at in the next few years in terms of the new EU directive coming through on that side. So how do we do things in a collaborative way across the industries as well? That's brilliant. I think for too long, I've always thought of procurement 
as the gatekeeper to my organization to protect me. And now at the speed of change, I can't keep up and procurement is allowing me to find the innovation. So they're actually the enablers outside right. by doing that sourcing, by understanding what we need to be doing. And the critical role that you play, I hope you take quite seriously and know that we're here to engage.